Hey y'all, this is my channel, and today I'm going to talk about ideas I have for Uncoma to revamp AVA so that it becomes a skill-based mode of the game rather than a population-based mode of the game. Also, if you have no clue what AVA is, and I'm just confusing the crap out of you talking about it, I got a video right here that'll teach you everything you need to know about AVA. Watch that video, realize that it's awesome, like it, comment, subscribe, and then come back here and watch this video so my ideas make sense to you. So here's my ideas that I have that'll completely revamp the PvP scene altogether. First of all, I think we should allow only one fight per map. This way, every fight counts. The winner of the fight for that map makes their alliance win a point for the territory. And so this is sort of an objective idea that I have that instead of having... So like, let's say you have 100 people on a map and 25 are one alliance and 75 is another alliance. If you're lucky to have that many people, years ago we had that many people. So a better example, let's say you have 10 people from one alliance and, and 30 people in another alliance. What's going to happen? You throw them at each other? We all know what's going to happen. What's going to happen is that the 30 is going to win no contest. We can't have that. So you have a big territory, a small territory. It'll make a huge difference. One fight per map. And the winner of that fight wins a point for the map. That's idea number one. Let's move to the next one. We got to get rid of time limits. Replace time limits with objectives. Objectives, I don't have a 100% clue every single type of objective that we could throw in here. There's probably a lot of ideas. I'm sure Nkama already has ideas at this point. Um, I don't think they tell us everything that's going on. They have great communication, but they definitely don't tell us everything. Re re objectives would be incredible. I really think it would do wonders. Just even, even the point that I made earlier about just winning a point by winning a fight would be incredible just because the fights matter. It's not four people against one just to sweep them off the map one by one until there's nobody left. Then it's just a numbers game. It's stupid. Let's stop doing that. All right, another idea I have is to sign up for AVA with user caps to prevent wins based on populations, which would be by the discretion of guild leaders. So what do I mean by this? That means like, let's say you have, hey, I have 10 people who can show up. We're a small alliance, but we got 10 people who can show up somehow. Even, even today, who knows how you can scrap 10 people together. It's not easy because people got things to do. They're playing the game. They're, they're focused. You scrap 10 people together, and that means for that territory, whether it's a small territory, big territory, the opponent's team can only also ha recruit 10 people to defend that territory. So your attackers and defenders, both of them will be 10 people, or on another territory, 20 people, and this way that you don't have a way overwhelming player count that causes the winner to be based on population. And then here's another idea. If you can make a territory, each territory, tier-based, so like, let's say you have, there's a territory called Scree. It's like nine maps or 12 maps. It's like nothing. And if that, if that could only be taken over by a small alliance, like you need to be a small alliance to take over this territory. If you want to take over the big territory, you got to be a big alliance. I think that would be incredible because it would allow small alliances with new players, old players, whatever it is to be able to take territory and get somewhere. Here's the next idea. They should make it so that a fight can only be outnumbered by one player. So like, let's say you have one person gets attacked by one player. So you would have it be a 1v1 and it can go up to four because of that's how the format is right now. So like, let's say someone runs in and, jo and protects the, one of the teams. So it's 2v1. That means the team with two players cannot have another player until the fight is even again. So you can't be 3v1, it's not possible. So you have 1v1, it's preparation phase, so there's plenty of time to figure this out. 
1v1. Oh, now it's 2v1. And you have to get someone from your team to run in and, and be 2v2. Once it's 2v2, then you, it can be a 3v2. And what are you gonna do about that one character outnumbered? Give it, like, like back in the day, back, back in the day, Bonta versus Brackmore, it used to be that if a weak character got attacked, then the, um, the guard from either Bonta or Brackmore, there would be a guard that would defend you. So I'm thinking if there was an NPC that would defend the team that's outnumbered by one, then, and it would be an NPC that's controllable and powerful and all that kind of stuff, then you don't have to worry so much about being outnumbered. And I guess you could say there'd be some sort of alliance perk system that would generate, that would decide how strong that NPC would be. That's something I'm, that came off the dome right now. And then also, if the objective is about number of fights won, and there's only one fight per map, that means that if someone isn't actively participating on another map, they can spectate fights that are going on on that map, which would essentially, like, I mean, the, 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 the Alliance chat will be swarming with people being, cheering on their allies. Like, you're doing this right, you're doing this wrong, you know, and, and it would really bring some liveliness to the game if AVA fights were spectatable without any sort of cost. Also, just like you would have the guild leaders assign who was taking part in, AV in AVA, you could also have the Alliance set main teams per map, which basically means that each main team would be on each map, which would the fight would automatically start at the start of the AVA. And this would mean that the strongest players would be able to fight the strongest players without being torn apart or without being wasted on a team that isn't as powerful. Also, I think that if you're in a group during AVA, then I think it would be really important for you not to be able to be separated from your group. So let's say you have four people in a group and your group is not one of the main attack teams that are assigned, but rather people who are running around looking for their next fight. I don't believe that those teams should be able to be swarmed by separate players. So, so if you attack a team, that team can only be attacked by the attackers. Okay, so let me explain this. So if you're in a group, let's say you're in a group with four people, that means you are immune to attacks if one of your group members was attacked and you can only fight in that battle because that way you won't have groups being separated and it will be a lot more planned teams versus planned teams. Also, if we're going to be making it so that groups can't be separated, then I think there should be some sort of indicator above the player's head or either activated when the player is held down on that will show what group it belongs to. So these are my ideas, and the reason this is important is that AVA shouldn't be some long-winded war game that is based solely on diplomacy and drama. The game has long been a popularity contest on who can lead, maintain, and manipulate other players to follow them. We don't spend all this time building PvP-ready sets just to play a game with the skill level of Habbo Hotel or some chat room. At the current state of AVA, players waste 30 to 60 minutes of their time, and it is time to give us something to look forward to with our skills and our meticulously built sets. And those are my ideas. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and take it easy.